which areas do you use Gen AI um, in? He said he doesn't use it for code generation, for instance. We use it heavily for code generation. I, I think I can't write code without LLMs anymore. It's gotten to that point. In fact, I've been learning a new language altogether, personally, uh, in a whole new manner, which wasn't possible before. So it, it's picked up heavily in the developer world, and many of us in the tech team, we use these LLMs for uh, code generation, not massive amounts of code generation, but you know, topical, focus generation, debugging, these things save a lot of time. But we haven't really found any use cases for deploying some of these technologies, especially gen AI models in consumer facing products or features. But internally, from an organizational efficiency perspective, we've made some massive strides with simple workflows built out of open source models. I was citing this example in a conversation outside earlier. We have a 100 member team, close to 100 people, and the uh, job is to, their jobs are to listen to hundreds of thousands of calls, uh, customer calls that we're supposed to record and keep for like seven years, right. to randomly sample them and listen to calls. Calls may range from two minutes, could be five minutes, seven minutes, 50 minutes. So it's a really soul-sucking kind of job. And we've had a 100-member team doing this for forever. And this is how we do quality assurance for our support team. So there's this open source Whisper model, an improved version of it. Now we've cobbled together a, an open source system, stitched together a pipeline where recorded calls are transcribed all on our own infra using locally hosted models. Voice becomes text, high quality, and not possible, wasn't possible, let, let's say, a few years ago. Then we use an LLM to analyze the text that is generated. And the voice transcription also works pretty well. Person A says this, person B says this, pause. It's all there, annotated. And we use these language models to understand what's going on in the uh, text that is generated. And we're doing this to hundreds of thousands of recorded calls. But the 100-member team, they don't have to randomly sample and listen to, I mean, it's, it, it's like I said, it's soul-sucking. They don't have to do that anymore. The system will tell them, why don't you look at this call because some of our quality parameters seem to be a little off here. So their lives have become easier, better, and they can finally do their job of assuring quality. And from an organizational efficiency perspective, that's a massive stride. And that's just one thing. So similarly, uh, organize, around the periphery of our core business, a lot of internal organizational processes, we are experimenting with things like this, all using open source stuff self-hosted.